Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of lazy layer tips. All right, are you lazy like me? I don't wanna do any more picks and clicks in AutoCAD than absolutely necessary. I just wanna get my job done, and I wanna go home, and I wanna see my family, and I wanna pet my dog. All right, are you with me? All right, so I like these two tools because they're easy to get to. They're right here on the home tab, on the ribbon, and they're very efficient. Now, I'm hoping you already know about them, and in case you don't, I'm hoping you'll use them when we're done with this tip. All right, so the first one really comes in handy when you need to quickly change your current layer. All right, I need to do some dimensioning. I need to have my dimensions on the same layer as this object right here. Now I can do a reconnaissance mission. I can find out what layer that's on. And then I could come up here and I can drop this down and I can change my current layer to that. Oh, too many picks of clicks or I can be lazy. And I can come up here to this great tool right here, the make current tool, which has a command called lay m cur, whatever, I don't care. Just click on the tool, click on the tool, and then it says select an object whose layer will become current. What? Click on this object, and now you can see that is my new current layer. Oh yeah, okay, that's pretty efficient. That's fast, that's efficient. Oh, it was so much fun, I'm gonna do it again. Hit and enter. Now I want this layer to be current. What, check this out, now that layer's current. Now that's fast and that's efficient. I like that tool, all right? That's my first lazy layer tip. Okay, the one right below this is also a very efficient tool, match layer. So this comes in handy if you have a bunch of objects, one or more objects that you put on the wrong layer. And uh, maybe you don't know the name of the layer that these objects are supposed to go on, um, or even if you do know the name of the layer, this is a great route to take. As long as you have an object on the screen that is on the correct layer, I think this is the lazy route to take. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a bunch of objects. Let's say I put these guys on the wrong layer. These guys are all on the wrong layer. Oh my gosh, look at this mess. I don't know what I was thinking. Those guys are all on the wrong layer. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go, you can click on this first or you can click on it second, whichever, match layer. Now select an object on the destination layer. And once again, I could have gone into the command and selected the objects as well, either way. And um, so select an object on the destination layer. Let's say they're supposed to go on this layer that this door is on. Now check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and select that object and it's going to determine the correct layer for me and change all those objects to the correct layer. I love that. Once again, I get to be lazy. All right, there's one more option in here. I just want to show it to you. I'm gonna hit enter to go back into that lay match command. I'm gonna do a pre for previous to select the exact same group of objects. And I want you to see on here that there is a name option. Now this requires more picks and clicks. I do not get to be as lazy, so I don't like it. If you don't want to select a an object to tell it which layer you want to move those objects to, you can also get a dialog box and then you can go ahead and select whichever layer you want, like maybe um, the interior walls layer, for example. So this is another option for you as well. That's fine, you can do that, hit an okay. It just doesn't allow you to be quite as lazy, just so you know, <laughs> but it's available to you there. So try out these two tools right here, this guy and this guy right there. They come in really handy. You're gonna get your jobs done faster. You're gonna get to go home and see your family and pet your dog or cat or animal of choice, whatever it is, a little bit sooner. And uh, that's what it's all about. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those tips and I am gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.